Hi, my name is Natalie A. Williams and this is my first YouTube video on um, Halloween makeup. Um, I'm just going to walk through real quick on how I achieved the look that I have. Um, one of the first things that I did do is I applied this Wet n Wild primer to my face. The next step that I went ahead and did is I tend to do my eyeshadow first before I do any other makeup just because I don't like if I do make a mistake on my eye makeup it's easier to clean that way um, so my eyeshadow is actually the first thing that I do um, the brushes that I mostly will be using are from Victoria's Secret and Makeup Academy which is a CVS brand and also Beauty 360 the first um, thing that I'm going to show you here in the video is something you can pick up at, pick up at CVS it initially comes with about five different brushes um, that I'll show you real quick. It comes with that tube that I showed and about five brushes that look, you know, relatively like these. There's a five. Okay. The brush that I did use for the eyeshadow is probably the, the middle brush. And that's that brush. It's really flat and small. Um, I use that to put apply my eyeshadow on the top here. I don't do a sweeping motion when I apply my eyeshadow. I do more of a a tap in to the skin. That's how I do mine. And that alleviates from any pigments falling right here in this area, right where you, you don't want it. But if that were to happen, um, if you grab yourself a, I particularly use Garnier, grab yourself a Garnier towelette, um, it's always good to keep uh, one nearby so you can always clean your brushes after use. I believe in clean brushes is mandatory to good skin care. Um, and I always wipe it off the white. I will always wipe the brush onto the white after I'm done. The color that I use on my eyelid is from MAC. It is called Parfait Amour. Um, it is kind of an iridescent. You can't see it as well because I'm in my bathroom now and I've had my makeup on for quite some time. But um, I may post some photos of what my look looked earlier in natural light. Um, the next step that I normally do is I apply my highlighter. All my eyeshadows are in a, some kind of pro palette. This was one I created that I normally use these every day. You see I use a brown often. But the color I use right here is my, um, I use right above my brow bone. Um, that color is called, I think that one's called Rena. Let me look at my notes. Um, yes, I want to make sure I, I say the right names. So, you know, if you want to achieve this look, you do that. That color I always use majority of the time any, when, I, when I'm using something for my brow bone. And the brush I use is just a slanted brush that you can get anywhere. Um, this particular kit doesn't come with the slanted brush that I showed you earlier. This is a kit that I love. I love travel size uh, things. This is from Victoria's Secret. And um, it basically has, you see the, the brushes, they're about maybe about five brushes, including this one that came with it. Just a slanted brush. Um, I apply it in my brow bone right underneath. Um, all underneath in like a triangular motion. I'll show that on another video. It's very easy. You can use any way you want, but that's my technique. Um, the next step that I normally do is I go ahead and do my brows. Um, this is also another MAC product. It is a mechanical brow pencil, self-sharpening, um, defining, um, it's really great. Um, all you do is just sweep it on. This is the brow shape that I normally wear. Technique, sweep it on, across. You can make little hairs with it. It's so perfect. You can just fill in your sparse hairs. I normally fill in my sparse hairs with it. Um, another great matte product. After I do my brows, um, after I've done my eyelids, my brow bone, and my brows, the next step I tend to do is my face. Um, the first step I normally do in my face is my basic foundation. Um, my color from MAC is actually NW45. 
I do own an NW50 and an NW58. The reason why I own three different powders, and I don't, I, when I contour, I don't use liquid or 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 it, um, anything like that. Um, I predominantly use powders. Um, I have tried a mousse um, just recently, but um, generally I don't normally use it often. I've been using powders for years. And basically, this is the NW45, which is my normal color I use on my skin that I love. It's normally about a medium coverage. This is the NW, NW50. I don't like makeup to fall. <laughs> and it's powder. And this is NW58. And the reason why I'm showing you the three different powders, only because I think it makes more sense to own three different foundations. And I'll show you all three of them. So, you, so this is the lightest, medium to darkest. So you kind of get an idea of what it looks like. Um, I feel it's more economical to have um, the powder foundations. I contour with powder. Um, I don't use any creams. I know the creams are really popular on on YouTube, but I feel I feel most comfortable working with powders. Um, my foundation. I generally um, sometimes I utilize the little applicator that's inside of it to get around my mouth which tends to be my darker areas my chin um, sometimes around my nose I do underneath my eyes but I, I, I normally don't my skin is pretty even toned so I don't really have to use a lot so I normally just use a brush the brush I use is from that Victoria's Secret one brush looks like that love a travel size I sweep it all over um, my skin brush it all over over my um, brows I just groomed to kind of tone down the darkness of the brow pencil and also to um, tone down the highlighting a little bit so it looks a little bit more natural. The next step that I do after I've, I've fully covered my face and foundation, I normally use my medium foundation, which is the NW50, to contour. If I want to do a very natural contour, I will use it generally here. A trick I normally do to contour, I use my finger to find my brow bone and I walk my finger right up underneath it and it will naturally show you your brow bone. I will do videos that will be just specifically for just those things because um, it's hard to get a tutorial all in in 15 minutes without being cut off. Um, the next step that I do is for the darkest foundation I have, the NW58, that's when I want to do something more dramatic. So I will normally use that right here along my, my chin line here. And if I want it really deep, today I went really deep. I did the darkest NW58 right here where you probably can still see my contour line that I used. Did it on this side too. I normally use my darkest uh, powder foundation for the contouring and right here for the chin and that's generally all I use it for sometimes I will contour right here on the sides of my nose um, but that's more for dramatic fill if I don't want a dramatic fill and I want a natural contour that's when I use NW50 the NW50 is probably about I would say for my natural color probably about three shades darker and from the NW50, I would say it's probably two shades darker. So depending on whether you tan in the summer, by buying a powder foundation, it's a great idea because no matter how dark you are, because your complexion changes throughout the year, you always will have a, found, a proper foundation. So let's say you tan a little bit, you can use the NW50 and then use the NW58 to contour if you need to. But I try to go for the subtlety. If I wanted more dramatic, like for a look like for Halloween, I would go a little bit the deepest and those are the only areas that I contour I don't get crazy with it the next thing I, I utilize um, is my highlighter the highlighter that I use is also Mac as well um, I own two concealers one in my true color which is NW45 and then I also own NW35 I'm not sure how much lighter 
NW35. I'm not sure if that's like two shades lighter um, than what I am, but I use this specifically only for highlighting. The areas in which I highlight are generally, I, and I would show um, in one of my videos, but I can show you real quickly. This is from that same kit that I was mentioning earlier, the Beauty 360. I opted to use a brush like this. It's a true concealer brush. It's very flat and rounded. I have used in the past when I went to a MAC event and took a, they give, you know, like a free class while they're giving you a makeover. This is kind of the brush that she recommended for me to use. I've used it in the past, but I find it to be just too big to put it in the, the area right underneath my eye. So I figure that a brush that's small like this is just as well, it's just a smaller version of it. And what I do, what I learned in the class is to contour right underneath the eye in a triangular motion. You see, I highlighted earlier and you don't even see, you can't really see where it is because I set my face. So you would start at the corner of your eye, bring the concealer down to about here, start at that corner of your eye, bring it down and fill in the center in a, in a tri in an upside down triangle. Do it to the same side. I normally would dab a little bit, bring it down my bridge bridge of my nose here, and just fan out into a triangle. And in terms of highlighting, that's all the highlighting I would do. I wouldn't I wouldn't do any more highlighting um, further than that. Um. That, so that's it for the highlighting. I keep trying to keep it really simple. The next step that I do is when I did like this purple and orange look, um, I try not to have a blush that's too burgundy. I really want to look as flesh and naturally bronze as possible. So this is also another matte product. But this item, I believe, is discontinued. They probably have newer versions of it, but I got this at a MAC event when I lived in New York, and I've had it for years. I don't use it all the time, but you can see how much I've, I've used this the many years. If you ever find a MAC item like this one, let's say you really wanted this one, the color of this one is called MAC Browning Powder. It is The color is called Refined Deeper Bronze. Um, I'll write it, uh, all that information, and if you're interested, you can probably call something, and I don't even know if they still even offer it, but um, it's a program that MAC offers. It's called Gone But Not Forgotten, and anytime something is discontinued, they normally can be able to track it down for you and find it and ship it to you, and um, I've never ran out of this. Um, I think I've maybe purchased two of them. Um, and if I really like something, I may purchase two, and I think this is my second one, and I think after this, I'll probably have to buy whatever they carry now. But I use that on my cheeks, and I use it generously. I really do. I use a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of it. And um, the brush that I choose to use, I tend to like an angled, an angled brush, like so, to apply blush. But this particular brush I actually use for my MAC um, blush that I've used for years, even though I'm almost out of it. Um, I love an angle brush, but I don't really like to, I, I need more, I need actually another brush like that one. I just use this kind of brush that came in this palette. This is a, this is a Makeup Academy brush set, travel brush set that you can find at any CVS. Um, they come with four brushes. This is one of them. This is what I would use if I have any other blush that um, that I own. I don't love how it puts it on. I don't feel like you have as much control, but um, it is a good blusher brush, and that's what it says on there. Actually, that's why I like them. The um, CVS brushes. It actually tells you what kind of brush it is. So that's for people who are amateurs. These are great brushes that kind of help you get familiar with what brushes to use. Because that's one thing I struggled with when I first started doing makeup. I didn't know what brushes to use. Um, it also comes with the angle, another angled brush. That one I normally use with my other uh, concealer, and I dab that into my hairline to make a natural part. This brush is that brush I showed before that the for the concealer. If you want to put it in a large area, 
not for contouring. And then this is just an all shadow brush. 